Welcome back. Now, my next guest is a writer, an artist and a designer who's been through many highs and lows in her life. She says it was the angels who saved her when she was going through severe depression. They guided her to create a truly joyful life and encouraged her to paint them, which has sparked an exciting career for her. Victoria Mary Clark, it is a pleasure to talk to you today. It's a Aww. pity it's not in real life, but I'm just yeah. happy to see you on the screen. I'd love to be on that chair. Love it. <laughs> damn, damn you, COVID. And also, you do have the most beautiful background behind you. Um, well, I suppose, I suppose, to be fair, you don't have as good a background as me. I don't. You, do, you win in those takes without a doubt. And these are some of the actual paintings that you have done, yeah. the artwork that you've done. Yeah. But let's go back a little bit in the... Is that a cat or something? Oh. No, you can't can see it. Oh, Victoria Mary Clark Angel Scar is lovely. It is a great... Actually, it's an amazing feature wall. Let's go back to how you got even into the realm of doing these. You know, we were talking about highs and lows. You had some real lows. You were really struggling with depression. And was it that you were finding it very difficult to move on, to get better, to improve? Well... Um, I suppose a lot of my depression stemmed from feeling like a total failure. Um, and it wasn't helped by the fact that my husband, Shane, is very successful. And I think sometimes, you know, when you're around very successful people, you can't, you, like, you can't help but compare yourself. And um, in my case, I always felt that my career was, like, below Z, and he was A, and I was like... <laughs> uh. I felt like a really, yeah, I just, I couldn't understand what I was doing wrong. And I began to, I got more and more depressed, but I also partied a lot. Mm. So I drank a lot. I took a lot of drugs. I stayed up very late and I ended up in a place called the Priory in London, which is sort of like a rehab mm. facility, um, just with a completely catatonic depression, like totally unable to get up the energy or enthusiasm to get out of bed. And how, how, how far back was that in your journey? Like, that, are we talking a couple of years? That would have been, I would have struggled with that for probably ever since I was a teenager, mm. but it got to its, its lowest point when I really did want to die. Um, that was about 2000, 2001. Well, I'm very glad to see that you were still here. And it's interesting because I know you've t you've spoken, you mentioned your husband, Shane, of course, Shane McGowan from The Pogues. You were saying that, for instance, he would be asked to write a song for Disney and you were just not able to just get the grasp onto what it was you really wanted to do. So when did the angels become a feature? Because you, you, I mean, is it a thing you see angels? You hear them? Is it a religious or a spiritual thing? Okay, so it's not remotely religious. I think that's important to say. And it's also not that I'm a very good person. I'm not remotely angelic. I'm like quite the opposite, as Shane will tell you. Um, I told a bit. Uh, so I think, I, I mean, I'm also very pessimistic and I can be very negative, you know? So I had to, like, I don't think it's true that you have to be a certain kind of person to have angels communicate with you. I feel like it's open to anyone, and no matter how bad you feel. Um, and I just began writing to them. I just said to them, I wrote down on paper, I said, uh, if you're up there and if you can help me, now's your chance, because like, this is my last shot, really, at staying alive. And they began to write back to me, and they would tell me what to do every day. They'd just actually tell me what to do. So how would they uh, write back to you? Is it like, would they almost, would you hear them in your head? Or you're obviously not getting letters in the post from the angels. No, it wasn't letters in the post. And it wasn't, I, I didn't hear anything. But you know when you take a pen to paper and you don't know what you're going to write, but you just start writing, mm. and then you don't know what the next word is going to be, but you keep going. It was like that, like automatic writing. So I just kept writing and I would not know what the end of the sentence was going to be and it would just keep going until they stopped. And I'd be like, oh, okay, there's the answer. And then they started guiding you towards the painting and we can see some of them behind you. This was an yeah. extension of that, was it? You would sit there with pen to paper. Yes. So after a while, they began to demand <laughs> that I paint them. And I didn't know why. And I'm not a painter and I've not been trained and I haven't a clue what I'm doing as you can probably see. So I draw, I paint like a child. 
Um, so I just got crayons and I got markers and a bit of glitter, as it's on some of them, a bit of glitter. Mm. And I just began to draw. Um, and eventually they said that I should start making them into scarves. And so that, is, that is the business that you are now doing. And actually, that's a gorgeous picture there. Like the, the paintings you've done are really whimsical and they seem to just be gorgeous. And these are silk scarves, are they? Yeah, yeah they're silk. Um, but I'm now doing a cashmere one, which is really, really soft. It's hand woven and it's really light and I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's great for this time of year. And are there special associations with, let's say, particular angels that you've drawn and particular scars? Like, do you name the design after the feeling you got that day? Like, I'm wondering what the one you're wearing now is called. So, so she's actually the first one and she's Gayla Treya, that's her name. So they tell me their names and they tell me what they're for. And this one is for inner guidance. So it's really, it's for people to find the guidance inside to follow the dream or to fi figure out what the dream is and follow it. And that's what I did. So I followed them. Amazing. And now I'm actually, like I would be horrified now at the thought of not wanting to live because there's so much to live for. Oh, for that, me is, now. that is fantastic yeah. to hear actually. I'm really glad because yeah. it sounds like it's like over two decades of really struggling. And it sounds like this is something that has really helped to ground you. And, you know, here you are now in a, in a creative realm. I believe you also got Shane to model one of your scarves. So we have a picture of him. <laughs> what angel is that there now that we, we see Shane wearing? Same it's the same one. Same angel, different color, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, is he um, a willing model? Is he very cantankerous? Will oh, yeah. he knock it out of bed for less than 10,000 euros a day? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and um, I, I, I'm I just... got to, to do it too. And he was much easier to work with, much easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering, you know, what will be the next, you know, you've done from the writing to the drawing, to the silk scarves, to the cashmere. Like, do you see this as opening up a whole realm of business for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm actually doing a yoga mat. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> this and is I'm like just... watching the shopping channel, Victoria. <laughs> this is so brilliant. This... So this is the yoga mat. Twisted so we can see. Oh, wow. So it's quite big and thick. Yeah. Which I like. Because um, I've been doing a bit of yoga at home during the lockdown. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm just laughing at you wrestling with the yoga mat. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think a lot of people have started doing a bit of yoga at home, but what a lovely idea to paint an individual design on it. I'm really yeah. drawn to one of the ones over your right shoulder. It's like her wings are painted gold and she's wearing a, almost like a black and white sailor suit. You know, oh, yeah. Was there a difference as the, as the angels guided you? Did it start out very basic colours and become more elaborate? No, some of them are really bright, uh, but they each each dictated their colours and they each dictated a message, which I began putting on Instagram. So, so Victoria, I'm particularly drawn to one over your right shoulder. It's in the, so no, the other side, the other side with your right. Yeah, that one the, with the gold wings. And I'm wondering, yes. is, is it different angels saying, paint me like this. And, and I'm kind of thinking yeah. of uh, Kate Winslet in Titanic. Paint me like your French ladies, Jack. <laughs> but do you, is it different angels? Are they all individuals? Do you recognize they're, them? They're all individuals. They've all got their own personality and they all have a message. Um, so every day I would paint the angel and then put them on Instagram with the message. Yeah. And now I'm collecting all the messages together so I can make a book and like put that on my website as well. I love your entrepreneurial spirit. I really do. And you know what? If you have angels communicating with you, then fair play to you. Like any bit of comfort and creativity that people can get right now, I think is amazing. So they are beautiful. Thank you for coming on today. Oh, it was a real pleasure to talk to you. I hope to see you again in real life sometime this century. I'd love to. I'd love to. <laughs>